Well, friendships are an important part of life. Unfortunately, not all of them last. Blanca Cobb's example of this, Stephanie Winston Wolkoff, a former friend of First Lady Melania Trump, who is releasing a tell-all book about their prior friendship. The title of the book, Melania and Me, The Rise and Fall of My Friendship with the First Lady. So Blanca, you bring up this example for a reason. Friendships don't always last, which means the secret shared during the friendship could be told at the end of the friendship. So is there a way to know if a friend might turn on you and, and, and take your friendship for granted if it doesn't last? That's a great question, Tracy. And the answer is no. There's no way to know for sure. However, you will probably get some hints along the way in that friendship. Think about if there are any, if they would say unintentional slips of information that they might share. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that was supposed to be just between me and you. Uh, they're not gonna say anything, don't worry about it. Listen to the excuses, what are they sharing? And then what are they saying when you call them out on it? Watch for their loyalties. Are they continuing to be loyal to you? And one way to find out is about if they're being judgmental. When you have a friend, you want somebody who's gonna accept you for who you are, and that means mistakes and all, imperfections and all. So are they judgmental or they really understand? And the reason this could be a hint is because usually, sometimes people who are judgmental, when they get that information, it's like too good to keep to themselves, so they'll share it with somebody else to help them process. Can you believe this person did this or that or the other? So how do you protect yourself from former friends who betrayed your confidence? Well, during the friendship, this is where you really have to be cognizant and make a decision. Watch what you say. What is it that you want to share about what you say, your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions? Because keep this in mind, while you're friends, you feel safe and comfortable sharing that private information. But if you, your friendship doesn't last, then you, there might be some concern about what you've said or what you've done that they know. And you have to be very very careful. In other words, so if you don't want to post it on social media, just don't do it. Probably the best way to protect yourself is just notice changes in the friendship. If you notice that your friendship is starting to cool off or you're not as connected or their behavior or attitude changes and you try to work on them and they're still there, that's a sign to you that you shouldn't be saying so much because you don't know what's going to happen with the friendship. Yeah, and not everyone is loyal. Thank you, Blanca. Appreciate those tips. And of course, you can continue the conversation with her on her Facebook page. Search Blanca Cobb, body language expert.